everybody, welcome to the Dialed In Show. This is Drew Dial. We are a special on on location. Yep. Is that what location. They say? We're on location at Parker Mortgage in downtown Noblesville. I'm here with Mike Parton. Um, hey, everybody. Thought we'd ask some lending questions, uh, a little bit about their company, and uh, how they can help you guys as a prospective home buyer. So, Mike, tell me a little bit uh, about Parker Mortgage, who you guys are. Yeah, so we're based here in downtown Noblesville. So, we're on the square. If you guys are familiar with Noblesville, the new Primeval Brewing is immediately downstairs. Nice. That was not an accident. And so, we've got uh, what, 25 ish people on the team. So, we do everything all right here in house. So, processing and underwriting and the whole shebang. Nice. So, yeah, it's nice. awesome. And we have a 105 pound Old English sheepdog that wanders around the office <laughs> that we just had to lock in the other room. So, yeah, if you guys uh, like dogs, come by and see us. If you don't like, dogs just call first of all lock your way <laughs> sounds good thank you uh so to the boring stuff yeah 2020 real estate market mm -hmm. uh, yeah. what does that look like to you from the lending perspective what have you seen so far sure. uh into the year so um let's start like december ish okay. um so december 2019 is when the market starts to cool down in the lending world and usually december january february are our slowest months of the year and i can tell you last week in particular we had 39 new submissions right so to give you some perspective the year before we didn't close that many loans in the month and we had that many come in in a week right. so um market is absolutely on fire right now it's it's crazy we, we're running into a weird problem that i this is my 20th year doing mortgages. I've never seen this happen before where we have tons and tons and tons of demand right now. Um, supply is still not looking great, so right. not enough people sell in their houses. Right. Um, but I think overall market factors are seeing houses are appreciating at a decent clip, which is finally convincing some people to, to get out of the houses that have been sitting on for years and years. So um, yeah, so the market, I think, is knock on wood doing fantastic right now. Right. So. Okay, so it's not just me. I've been saying the last few weeks the spring markets here already. So. Yeah, it's crazy. I'm like saying it too. Normally we try to take February off and hang out <laughs> yeah. by the lake. We got to make it do it this year. Yeah, right. Exactly. Yeah. So. Um, actually hang out by a lake. It's really <laughs> so. Um, so if you've seen any of my videos, I'm always saying first step, even before calling me sometimes, is contact a lender to get pre-approved. Absolutely. What does that pre-approval process look look like here at Parker Mortgage? Yeah. And, and why is it so important to do it? Absolutely. I think that the pre-approval process with us looks a lot more like talking to a friend. Okay. Um, so we spend a lot of time, I don't know, people don't, I don't think people realize how many mortgage programs there are. Right. There are literally thousands. And then when you throw in all of the ways that we can help structure a loan, sure. Then, I mean, we're into the, the millions. And then what we do a lot is we work with, almost exclusively with realtors. And so we're not putting billboards up and running internet ads. We, we work with our realtors to help their clients get into homes. So because of our strong realtor partnerships, I feel like we're able to structure loans a little bit differently when kind of everybody at the table is talking to each other. And when I can take my client's goals and I can say, hey, this is this would be great if we can help structure it like this. Drew, do you think the seller can do this and this? And we get all these puzzle pieces together. Man, we can, we can move mountains. So, you know, we've got programs right now where I can do no money down with no mortgage insurance. Okay. So things like that are dominating the market right now. Um, it's getting much, much less today than it was five years ago. FHA, VA, conventional, here are the buckets. Which right. bucket do you want? Now, I mean, and the market is very dynamic. So partnering with somebody, whether it's us or another lender, get started early and start to have these conversations because here's, I promise you, you don't know what you don't know. Right. Like being in the lending game, this, these programs are changing every day. And so to be able to stay up on what's happening as a consumer, I think is almost impossible right now. So you mentioned, you know, get started early. Like how, how soon is early? Like, you know, a month ahead, two months ahead, a year ahead. You have to be 18 to sign a mortgage. Okay. So <laughs> yeah. You start then. Yeah, okay. um, I think realistically somewhere in the 60 to 90 days before you feel like you're going to buy a house. Okay. And the reason I say that is because, um, people have stuff wrong with their credit that they don't even know they have wrong with their credit all the time. Um, 
the, the amount of people that have errors on the credit bureaus are crazy. Right. And even if you feel like you're a person that has always paid your bills on time and you do great and you have good credit and credit karma is constantly saying, shut up. <laughs> so you don't know unless you go take a look at it and there might be something on there that's, that's listed improperly. Um, medical collections nowadays don't really hit your credit score, so okay. you might not feel the blip of that, but we could go in and um, and help you get those kinds of things, I don't know, addressed. Okay. So I'm not a credit repair company, I'm not allowed to say that, but right. we work with clients all the time to show them a roadmap of, hey, if you go do these things, right. like there's no such thing as a no, there's only a not yet. I love that. And uh, so I mean, we can we can help people get whether you're a 700 and we can get you over a 740, you can get the best rates in the game. If you're a 540 and you want to get to a 580 to be able to, to buy a house. Right. Um, so starting a little bit earlier than, hey, I found a house and I have an offer on it. Yes, please. Probably yeah, right, a good yeah. idea. Okay. Um, so yeah, somewhere in the 60 to 90 day range is right. usually pretty safe. Okay. Sounds good. Um, so now once we've got the pre-approval, you started searching with myself and we're going out. Uh, we found that home. We're under contract. I send all the files over here to Mike and his team. Can you explain like what does that 30 to 45 days look like between we're under contract and then yeah. I get the keys and we get to move in? So yeah, from our seat, kind of what it looks like is uh, you ever been to the circus? I mean, you got the guy with the red coat. Pretty so I had yeah. a couple Something red like coats. Yeah. So we just turn into a little ringmaster. Okay. So. Um, we become coordinators, so we have spent the time to work with you to structure what your loan needs to look like, okay. and now we walk through the actual approval process. And so, to give some perspective, because people get so emotional during this time, right. it's not a matter of whether or not whether or not I think that Drew is a good risk, and therefore do I want to lend him money. That's not it at all. Okay. You got to you, you got to put this different hat on for a second and think like an attorney. Because really what we're creating is a bond, right? Yeah. We're creating a mortgage-backed security. This mortgage has got to check all these boxes. It's got to fit all this government guidelines. And it's got to, it's got to look a very specific way. And so when a lender comes back and asks for, hey, I need an updated pay stub. Hey, I need this. I need this. And they, you know, hopefully we don't do that to you too much. Hopefully <laughs> we do a really thorough job up front. Right. But, yeah. I mean, people's lives are dynamic. You have so many weird variables that people run into. Um, so we spend a lot of time with coordination of appraisals, your inspections happening during that time. I don't want to know about your inspection. That's for you and your realtor to make sure that house is in good shape. But we're going to have an appraisal done and that appraisal is there to make sure you're not overpaying for the house, to make sure the collateral is good for the loan. Um, we have to figure out where your down payment's coming from. We're kind of like a bank that we have to worry about stupid things like the Patriot Act and all of this like fair lending garbage and all right. of the things to make sure that every T is crossed and I is dotted. But so. Lots and lots of that. Okay. So one of the things that I think we do an above average job on is um, really nurturing people through that process. Because like I said, it is very, very emotional. And yeah, people get yeah. very freaked out during that, that point in time. It's like, does he love me? Are they gonna say yes? <laughs> right. Are they gonna approve yeah. this loan? So um, in our world, we, we try to have the heart of a teacher. Okay. And it's something that I talk to my crew a lot about is you know, don't just ask for a bank statement. You, in our world, if you have a five-page bank statement that says one of five, you know how the fifth page is always empty? Right. So we have to see the fifth page because I don't know that that's not where your 17 car loans are <laughs> right, and your exactly. four timeshares in Muncie, Indiana. Like, I don't I don't Beautiful know what's going on. Right. So, but the heart of a teacher would say, hey, Drew, I need to see your bank statement. And it's, if you have a five-page bank statement, even if that last page is blank, I need to go ahead and send that in also. Um, the norm in this industry is to say, hey, send me your bank statement. And the heart of a teacher, I think, really reduces that anxiety, lets people know what we're looking for, why we're looking for it. And then now I can look at this rationally and say, okay, that makes sense. Here's my bank statement. Now I'm not worried because I know what you're going to be looking for. So, um, yeah, anyway, I don't know. If that's, that's good. My, my, you kind of answered it for me. My last yeah. wrap-up question is like, well, you know, what's the one thing that sets you guys apart at, you know, Parker? Um, but, and you summed it up with the, with the heart of the teacher. Um, yeah. We're in this together. You guys want uh, what's best for for each and every family situation. So yeah. When it comes to that, you guys do. So if you think about the Shane company, he always talks about our people are not on commission. <laughs> right. so, you know, it's, it's like our loan officers, they, they make the same amount of money no matter what loan they choose for you or you choose with them or they structure for you. Yeah. It's So there's not like this profit 
being a driver for us. It is exclusively, I need to make sure that this deal is structured the best way possible for this client because I want them to engage with us and I get paid by bringing a loan in and I, I make people happy by doing the right thing for their situation over right. and over. Um, so I know that there's a lot of places that you know, people have the perception that they're going to just charge you as much as they can get away with kind of thing. Right. It's, I, I think that's real important to, to know that that's, that's not a thing. That doesn't exist. It doesn't exist. So interest rates right now right. are crazy good. They've been very good for a long time and they're actually kind of took a little bit of a dive here as of late. So the market doesn't like uncertainty. So we talk about the stock market, your investments, your 401k and all that stuff. So when people start seeing craziness happening in Washington and things happening in China and just in general, the world in disheval. Right, yeah. Disheval? That's not a word. Disheveled? Yeah, something was like, like yeah. whatever. Works. So um, when that happens, people macroeconomics, they take their money out of the stock market and out of uncertainty and they'll put it in bonds for a minute, just kind of keep it safe. When that happens, it's very good for mortgage rates. And so um, crystal ball, let's look six months out, something's going to happen in Washington. We have no idea what it is, but something is going to calm down a little bit there. And then hopefully the people in China get some antibiotics and things get chilled out with the coronavirus and that doesn't continue to spread. Um, so when you start talking about some of those things chilling out, those are going to be forces that will move people back towards the stock market and make interest rates start to come back up. So. Um, I don't know. My crystal ball says go buy a house right now because the market is crazy good, super busy out there right now, and you know, houses are appreciating. It's really good. Yeah. So that house you waited last year, I don't know if you saw this statistic in Fishers, there was a couple zip codes in Fishers. Yeah. That house that you were thinking about last year cost twenty two twenty four thousand dollars more right now than it did in January last, last year. year. That's crazy. Right. So think about the costs of waiting and you're sitting on the sidelines right now and you're, oh, I can't find the, my dream house. Cool, go buy your daydream house and make <laughs> right. it your dream house. Right. So exactly. get a renovation loan and go in there and gut the kitchen and make it what you, what you want it to be. So, Very good I don't point. know. Yep. Yeah. So that kind of wraps it up. Yeah. Um, this was great. How about you? Do you have any insight for us? What's what's the market look like well, on the realtor The seat? market looks great. As you mentioned, the appreciation is just going through the roof and it's, it's not just Fishers and Hamilton County. Um, you know, across Indianapolis, uh, we just we're under contract with one of my listings right now. He bought two and a half years ago, and he's experienced thirty percent increase. Nice. Um, you know, not uh, it's better than his retirement. Though. Exactly. You know, he uh, you know got a job offer out of the blue, and two and a half years later had to sell, and thought he was going to lose money, and he's walking out way ahead. Um, nice. And it's, it's, that's in the west side, the north side, Lawrence, where I'm at. It's across the board. Um, you know, the rates, the cost of cost of waiting those are conversations that we have with our clients too you know numbers and statistics show that it's the seller's market because of the inventory being so low sellers are in kind of the driver's seat but I mean, it is the best time for a buyer to, to purchase their home i mean i remember a decade ago when my wife and i were buying our home we paid down to get to a five percent we thought we were just like, yeah living now five percent so um you know it's come a long way i mean this is a Absolutely. great time for everyone I mean, we have we have a lot of clients right now also looking into 15-year mortgages because yeah. rates are so much cheaper than what they're used to. And if you're sitting right. there in a 5%, like you might be able to get an item. You might be able to get the twos with a 15-year note, right. and your payment ends up being about what it was right. at 5%. Right. Yeah. And so, um, and then you look at how much money you save over the life of your loan. Yeah. Holy cow! Yeah, it's, it's crazy. You know, and if you get started on this process, you know at a time in your life, you know, where kids are so young and things like that. I mean, it's not just that you're getting a lower monthly payment and that feels good, but you really set yourself up, your yep. family up for future wealth and, and growth and just opportunities. Absolutely. So, if your kid right now is four years old or less, think about that. If you refi into a 15 year, there's your there's your college funding. Right so there. You can, you can just cash flow because you won't have a mortgage payment anymore. Absolutely. So I love that strategy. Anyway, good. well, thanks for inviting me. Well, thanks. I appreciate this. Fun with this. Yeah. So, thanks. Um, again, my contact information is down below or at the end of the clip. I'm going to have Parker Mortgage and Mike's information as well. If you have any questions for him or myself, feel free to reach out. We'll get you connected. Thank you.
Hey everybody, don't forget to like, comment, follow, and subscribe to however you're watching this content. Thanks.